Also at JSU this week, a major anniversary is being celebrated. It was 40 years ago this week that the campus radio station WLJS signed on the air. It all started with a 10 watt transmitter on the top of the library and a small studio in the basement of Bib Graves Hall. A group of students worked for 18 months to put the station on the air and they finally received an FCC license to broadcast. The first program director was Mike Sandifer. He was back at the station this week to celebrate the anniversary and he had advice for current broadcasting students who want to build a successful career. Understand you need the education. You're fortunate they've got the mass communications department here. Follow your passion, whether it be journalism, maybe it's broadcasting, but follow your passion. And if you have a dream, do everything to maybe leave a legacy for someone else to benefit from years from now. Sandifer was asked if he thought 40 years ago that the new radio station would be a success. Who knew that we were going to build this 40 year, you know, a station 40 years later and we have this legacy here. But we were following our dream, our passion, and ultimately we helped the university. And we've helped students here 40 years later. So that's a good feeling just to know that we're benefiting so many lives. You look at the people that have come through the station that are now on the air. And uh, we've all talked about Rick and Bubba and so many others. I can't remember them all. I didn't know them all. But we started something. Bob and I started something that now it has touched so many lives. And that makes you feel good. Joining Sandifer and putting the station on the air 40 years ago was Bob Waldrop, who served as WLJS's first program director. He was also back this, this week, that is, for the anniversary. I realized that what we did that first year would set the tone. And if we didn't do it right, uh, it probably wouldn't endure. Uh, so, and I look back, what really amazes me is that you had all of these students, none of whom were getting paid. Uh, they weren't getting course credit for being there. They weren't able to apply any of that toward a degree. Uh, in essence, they weren't working to be in radio or broadcasting. Uh, they were history majors and English majors and political science majors, uh, but just really had a passion uh, for that radio station. And to think about that what they were doing there was so significant that uh, it would lead to what we have today. Uh, students that can actually take coursework, get credit, uh, go into a career, build a career based on some of the experiences they get here. The WLJS anniversary continues this weekend with a reception and an open house for former staff members.